Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at 88 Rotors Off-Road. Welcome back to our shop. We have a Tacoma compilation for you guys today. We're gonna start off with this pre-runner. But before we get into that, let me give you some information on us. 88 Rotors is located in Southern California in Los Angeles County. If you're looking to get some work done by us, please reach out to us anytime by phone, or you can always message us by clicking on the link in the description and getting to the contact form and messaging us. Let's dive into this compilation now. This right here is a third generation Tacoma pre-runner. It's a TRD Sport. Not familiar with the term? Pre-runner is a rear wheel drive truck that's usually built off of the same chassis, suspension, and wheel setup as a 4x4, but is missing the front two axles. The purpose of a pre-runner is for it to be used to pre-run an off-road race course. Most racers usually have their fully built 4x4 beasts, and then a pre-runner to use to pre-run and familiarize themselves with the track without having to use their main truck to do so. Technically, from Toyota, they stopped dubbing the rear-wheel drive Tacomas as pre-runners in 2015, at the end of the second generation Tacoma. But the term itself is still widely used by many truck enthusiasts to describe all modified rear-wheel drive trucks. If you didn't know, now you know. We lifted this TRD Sport Tacoma with a Bilstein 5100 setup all around. We use Old Man Emu front lift springs and our Adelief in the rear. To maximize articulation and to correct the alignment angles of the front end, we installed a set of SPC ball joint upper control arms. We also installed a set of Method NV MR305s in a 17 by 8.5 size with the zero offset that we wrapped up in a 285 7017 BF Goodrich All Terrain KL2 tire. To complete the look of the front end, we installed this TRD Pro style grille. The factory Toyota Safety Sense sensors were also swapped over and we finished it off with a TSS garnish. For those that are interested in purchasing a grill like this and not knowing if they need a TSS garnish or not, Toyota Safety Sense only came in 2018 and newer Tacomas. So if you have a 2016 or 2017 third generation model, there's no need to purchase a TSS garnish. 2018 to current does require one. Do keep in mind that the newest models with the cameras always use a different type of grill that allows you to swap over both the TSS sensor and camera. Next up, we have this 2022 model, Lunar Rock Colored, Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport 4x4. This one's getting a King setup. We're doing the King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks all around with compression adjusters. We're also doing the Camber tubular uniball upper control arms and our Adelief system in the rear. I know we just got started, but if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, please find time to click on that thumbs up and give us a like. Clicking on it now does not interrupt the video. The compression adjusters give you the ability to precisely adjust compression from soft to firm with a simple twist of the red knob. We usually recommend the softest setting for the best on-road ride comfort and precisely twist clockwise up from there to firm them up as needed for when you're off-roading, ripping through some crazy terrain, or even when there is additional payload. The Kings for the Tacoma come with 550 pounds as standard and also can be swapped out for heavier springs as needed. Of course, there's an additional cost to that, but it is definitely worth it if you have a significant amount more of added constant weight. The owner of this Tacoma is not yet ready for a new set of wheels and tires, but with the King and Cambridge setup that's already installed, they're set up and ready for, to clear some 285 tires with the proper wheel specs. All right, on to the next one. Next one here is a 2018 Tacoma. This one's a TRD Off-Road 4x4. We're swapping out the Icon suspension setup for a new set of Kings, 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks, same deal as earlier, the Cambric tubular uniball upper control arm, and a Dakar EL111R leaf pad. The Icon setup that was previously installed on this Tacoma was not done by us. As you see, our tech is having some trouble removing the main upper control arm bolt. It is extremely important to properly torque bolts down to spec. The main UCA bolt needs to be at 85 foot-pounds of torque. Over tightening it can damage the bushings, create noise, and give more tension than it is needed, while under tightening it can be quite dangerous as well. If you're wondering why the customer is stitching his Icon setup for a King setup, we are not totally sure. We didn't ask him. But from what it looks like, it may have been on the vehicle for quite some years and he just wanted a refresh with a new setup. After struggling quite a bit with the upper control arm bolt, our tech was able to remove it on both sides. The new King Shocks and Cambric Tubular Uniball upper control arms are now installed and properly torqued down to spec.
and here's a closer look of the installed medium load Dakar leaf pack with ARB bushings and new extended U-bolts. As of today, April 28, 2022, we're currently sold out of the Kings with adjusters for the Tacoma. We do have the non-adjuster model in stock and ready to rock. Unfortunately, we are not shipping any King products at the moment due to the major shortage. They are only available for install here at 88 Rotors. And here's a closer look at the front end suspension installed. This Tacoma is currently sitting on a set of Volk TE37Xs, wrapped up in a 295-75-16 tire. And here's a closer look at the rear end suspension. King's 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks with compression adjusters installed with a Dakar EL111R leaf pack. If you like what you see here and want to see more, make sure to follow us on Instagram. You can find us at 88 Rotors Off Road. We post on there daily throughout the day on our stories and our feed. And of course, the final step before we bring the vehicle out for a quick test drive. We torque all four wheels and tires down to spec. Let's do another King and Cambric setup. This right here is a cement gray Tacoma 4x4. We're doing a King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilover and shock setup on this one with Cambric tubular uniball upper control arms and our Adelaide system. Here's another set of the Method NV MR305s in a 17 by 8.5 size with a zero offset, also wrapped in a 285-7017 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KL2 tire. No job is ever rushed here at 88 Rotors, we take safety quite seriously. After torquing all nuts and bolts down to spec, we always go over everything we do and mark it with a white paint pen. Not only does this show that we've double checked our work, it ensures that if you ever have a nut turn out while off-roading, you can always look down there and see that the lines are no longer lining up. This one's pretty much done and gonna be rolling out for a quick test drive before we hand the keys back over to the customer. The next Toyota Tacoma that's coming in is here for a HCB cut which is also known as the high clearance bumper cut. These days, some people started calling it the Viper cut, which we find funny and we never refer to it as that. The purpose of this cut is for the high clearance, not for it to look like a Viper. The high clearance bumper cut consists of precisely drawing out the cut to match the body line of the vehicle and executing it. We dremel all edges for a clean look, even though it will then be covered. 
We cut and modify the fender liners, we then modify the bumper brackets, and then we finish it off with the quality edge trim to give it a clean look that is functional without hacking up the whole front bumper. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell. That way you'll get alerted every single time we post a new video. Until then, take care, guys.